if you look at the second term, you can see the subscript i going from 1, 4, 7, blah, 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 up to n minus 2, which is equal to 4 in this case. The next summation term, i go from 2, 5, 8, and so on, until the last term, which is n minus 1 n minus 1 equal to 5 in this case. And the third summation psi, I go from 3, 6, 9, 12, blah, 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 until n minus 3. But n minus 3 in this case is equal to 3. So that means for this particular summation, I only equal to 3. Because the last term you can have is 3 there. So apply that formula, uh, what you have will be, this is F evaluated at X naught, and that term is 177. Okay? And next one, the second summation term in here, corresponding to F at X1 and F at X4. This value right here is F at X1. And this value right here is F at X4. And that comes from this summation term right there. The next one you have will be 3. You can see that term for 3 right here in the green color. And then you have F X2 plus F at X5. This guy actually is F at X2, and this guy actually is F at X5. Also, oh, that green term, that green term is with a factor of 3, that comes from this term right here, okay? The next term with a coefficient 2 in the front, I can I show you on the black color here. Basically, you have 2 times f at x3. And this term is right here, 2 times f at x3. And then the last term you have is f evaluated at x6. And that term is right there, f at x6. So when you substitute into that, you got i equal to 11601, which is very close to the uh, final uh, exact answer. The last thing, which is the last example, is very interesting. The reason is because we want to use the mix between Simpson one-third rule mixing together with Simpson three-eight rule. Okay? Here I have to tell you a little bit background. Simpson, Simpson one-third rule, Simpson one-third rule is based on the idea that you replace a complicated function with the quadratic function and the quadratic function means passing through three data points. Okay? So that is the so-called Simpson one-third rule. This is the lower limit A upper limit B and uh, there's another point in the middle. Now, so Simpson one-third rule basically require you to have two small segments here. Each segment you have a width equal to H. So that means the so-called multiple Simpson one-third rule will only be working if you use n equal to either 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 blah 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 segment. That means the number of segment has to be an even number. On the other hand, for the so-called Simpson 38 rule, Simpson 38 rule, this based on the fact that you have to use four data point. 
Okay, so this is the given function indicated by the red curve, and let's say this is the lower limit a, upper limit b. Simpson triad rule based on the cubic polynomial function passing through four data points that I show you in the green color there. Four data points mean you must have three segments, as you can see here. One, two, three little segments. So that implies for multiple, multiple Simpson 38 rule, the number of segments n has to be a multiple of 3. It is not like a multiple of 2, as we said earlier for Simpson one third rule. So that means n must be either 3 or 6 or 9 or 12. Well, in this case, you can see it could be an odd number like 3 or it could be an even number like 6. Whereas the multiple Simpson one third rule, it has to be an even number. But what happens if I ask you in example 3, let us try to calculate the same integration between a to b equal to 30 of the same function that we have been doing. But this time, let's say we want to use four small segments for Simpson one-third rule and then using three small segments for Simpson create rule. So the first thing we calculate will be what is the width h? Well, according to the formula equal to b minus a over n. n represent the total number of segments, which is call it n1 plus n2. n1 is equal to 4 because we use four small segments, Simpson one third rule first. Plus n2 equal to 3 small segments using Simpson 3-8 rule. So the value of h is equal to 3.1429. That's the first thing we calculate. Okay? Then after that, we do just like what we did before. We calculate the value x0, which is equal to a, the lower bound of the integration. Then we calculate x1, x2, x3, x4. Now notice, x0, x1, x2, you can apply Simpson one-third rule. x2, x3, x4, you apply Simpson one-third rule again. And that's why from x0 all the way to x4, we call it multiple. Simpson one third rule. Okay? Then after that, we will use x4, x5, x6, x7 to apply Simpson 3-8 rule with one segment. And the reason is because for Simpson 3-8 rule, we have to use a quadratic, uh, cubic equation, and that involves with four data points. In this case, mean x4, x5, x6, x7. Okay? So, to help you to understand better, pictorially, in this problem mixing, it looks like this. Here is x. Here is f of x. The complicated function that you want to integrate is this. The limit of integration, this is A, and this is B. The data point for this case, A is, is equal to 8, B upper limit equal to 30. The first part, we use multiple segments, Simpson uh, one-third rule with four little segments. So here's, let's say, four little segments. You see? Now, so the first three data point corresponding to x0, x1, x2. 
we use Simpson one third rule. The next three data point x2, x3, x4, we also use Simpson one third rule. So that's why you can see here is Simpson one third rule, here is another Simpson one third rule. They both Simpson one third rule multiple segment. Oh, see, this is the Simpson one third rule applied to here, and then Simpson one third rule again apply in the black area there. After that, the remaining we use Simpson three eight rule. So that's why this is called X four, X five, X six, and X seven, which is the same thing as B equal to thirty. And in this region, we use Simpson three eight rule. So the main idea here is that for the first Simpson one third rule, you have to be careful. The lower limit is x naught, which is eight. The upper limit is x two. For the next Simpson one third rule, the lower limit is x two, and the upper limit is x four. And then after that, for the Simpson three eight rule, the lower limit is x four and the upper limit is x7 okay so we calculate x0 x1 all the way to x7 so ignore all the way to x7 okay and seems the one third rule is there and in this range we use simpson 3 8 rule to be clear this one we use multiple Simpson one third rule. This one we use single Simpson three eight rule. All right, let's go to the next slide. So once we know the value of x zero, x one, x two, all the way to x seven, we can also calculate the function at x0, the function at x1, the function at x2, all the way to the function at x7. Alright? So like for example, to calculate the function at, at x0 equal to 8, you just look at the function given to you. Whenever you see x, you replace by 8. Whenever you see x, you replace by 8. So that's the way to calculate the function value. Next slide. Now you apply the so-called multiple segment Simpson